Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. Here's another update video of my 2D tile map editor. Actually, it has changed a lot since my last video. And this is actually the version 2. So this is the last version, version 1. Uh, I started making this editor specifically for recreating a NES Legend of Zelda that I was working on at the time. The map of NES Zelda is not seamless, which means uh, when you hit the edge of the screen, uh, let me see. so like uh, when you hit the edge of the screen, then uh, like uh, you can move to the next screen. In a way, the world map is divided by many screens. So that's why I made this world map window, so you can select a single screen and uh, work on the map, you know, whatever. However, many other 2D games are not like this. Map is kind of a seamless, not like this. So in this case, your character can move around on the screen, but uh, like many other games like uh, early Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy, Pokemon, or Earthbound, games like that, you know, the player character is basically always at the center of the screen. When you move your character, so the background moves, not player, in a way, so background tile changes. For that kind of games, I realized this tile editor doesn't work well. So um, I decided to reconstruct the editor and created this version 2. And in this editor, it has this um, huge world map window and you can choose anywhere on the map and uh, yeah, work on it. So yeah, like this. And uh, so you can move like uh, clicking one of these arrows, like this, or also uh, by pressing uh, right key or up key or down key. So now map is not divided by many screens, but uh, it has one, you know, like a giant map. You can zoom out and zoom in. Also, you can change grid on off. So selecting this or typing G. And what else? Yeah, so and uh, so right now I'm using this Final Fantasy 4 tiles. Let's start a new project. For importing tile images, uh, there are two options. So one is selecting a folder, for example, like uh, this. This folder, there is uh, some tile images. So you can select one of these and uh, import everything in the folder or also you can choose a tile image if you have one so tile sheet means like this one so this is one big png image and uh, all the tile images on a single image file so you can choose select this tile sheet and uh, import everything like this And uh, also I have added this background function. So in case you want to place a, like a big background image below the tiles, how to say, for example, so you can choose this Super Mario background like this. And uh, uh, tile sheet, uh, wait. Hmm? Yeah, place like an object like this. So yeah, if you want to, you know, put some background image, it doesn't have collision or anything, just a, you know, decoration kind of thing. Yeah, uh, so that's, um, I think, everything about this version 2 and finally I want to send a shout out to my youtuber friend Rio he was interested in using my editor so I asked him if he could do some testing and give me some feedback 
and he said yes. So actually, this background function was his idea. So thanks Leo for your help. In case you don't know about him, he's a great Java game programmer. So we, we knew each other through YouTube. He found my channel and I found his channel, then started sending messages to each other. He's much more accomplished Java programmer than I. So if you have never seen his work, check his channel, Rio Ono. He has created、uh, a lot of games in Java, such as、uh, like、Dig Dag, Golden Axe, Super Mario, Dragon Quest. You know, it's really amazing what he's been doing. And I think I will upload this editor in the future, in the near future, so you can download the editor and、uh, try it yourself in case you are interested. And I know there are already tons of tile editors, so, but、uh, developing one by yourself is pretty fun and、uh, also a great way to deepen your knowledge, I think. So, anyway,、uh, hope you are all doing well and、uh, hope you have a nice day. Bye.